Hey everybody, uh, Chief Meteorologist Brad Pinovich here. Well, it's Tuesday and we've got another week and another chance for some storms this week. Some could be strong, but even compared to last week's, you know, 14 tornado warnings, which was in the low to medium risk today, I'm looking at maybe a lower risk than that even this week, but I'm going to show you the setup as we go through the next couple of days. So let's go right to the map. The area of concern that we're going to be watching today is going to be here in the middle of the country. You could see this storm system come out of the Rockies. It's going to move this. This warm front again is going to be key. It's kind of chilly today. Temperatures in the Carolinas are in the 40s right now. It's going to be a struggle to get back to 60 today. But once that front starts moving north, we're going to see a pretty significant shift in the temperature. So day one, severe weather outlook. You could see the risk here across the areas of the middle of the country. And that's what we'll be watching today as this storm system pushes to the east. Now, over time, that threat is slowly going to shift east as we go through the next couple of days. So tomorrow, for instance, you could see the higher risk down here. And actually, this highlighted area means there could be significant severe weather across parts of the Deep South, including Jackson, Mississippi, uh, down to north of New Orleans again. So this is another area that was hit hard last week with severe weather. But as the system shifts to the east, it will kind of weaken and split a little bit. So you can see in the Carolinas, we've got maybe a low risk across the Piedmont, but a little bit of a medium risk up here and down to the south. That's because the energy will actually split a little bit. I think in the morning, we'll see strong storms here. And then in the afternoon, we could see some reintensification here. And the good news in this, this looks primarily like a straight line wind event as this pushes off to the east. If we go to day four, you can see that threat shifts off completely to the east. So let's take a look at future cast as this thing unfolds. And if you look, you can see as we look at the future cast here, again, I'm going to pop on the severe weather outlook for today. And you can see the area we're watching right here. And I'll leave that on as I show you the future radar here. Um, you can see the storm system developing. And look what happens right here around, you know, later today and tonight. I mean, that's a pretty nasty little line of storms developing there. I kind of removed that. And you can see little swath up here towards Omaha, then a bigger batch down here. So this is overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. Um, the warm front again, by the way, for the Charlotte area, remember at this time, that warm front is likely going to be surging to the north tomorrow and pushing in this direction. So we're going to see a big influx of warmer air, more humid air moving in to the southeast as well. So we'll go through time. I'm going to stop this uh, during the day tomorrow right there. And we'll look at day two, severe weather outlook. And you can see... Again, it stretches from basically central Illinois down to Mississippi, but you get the idea there. There's that severe weather risk for tomorrow. Now watch what happens as it pushes off to the east. Look at the time as well. This is midnight, so basically Thursday morning. A couple things happen. You notice right away that the storm system is getting elongated like this. That usually means it's racing ahead of the cold front, which is going to be right here. So the cold front is actually back in here. And this is forming on the prefrontal trough. So this part of the storm is actually outrunning the energy. And then down here, it's staying close enough to the energy, but it's also getting more of an influx of Gulf of Mexico moisture. So we'll go through time, uh, 4 a.m., 5, stop this at 7 a.m. So bigger storms down to the south. And you can see up here, it's likely raining. Now, even though this is a strong system, it's still the coolest time of the day. It's right around sunrise. So the fact that it starts to rain and it happens around sunrise, the timing's actually pretty favorable to reduce the severe weather risk for the Carolinas. But as we go into the afternoon, it shifts off to the east. We're likely going to see some reintensification as it pushes east. So that's what we'll be watching for is where is this front by 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon? Uh, the main front is back here. This is actually the trough. Could we see some reintensification back here? That's the one thing you got to watch for because we saw a little bit of this last week where... The first line in the morning kind of pushed off and it gave time for warm, humid air to surge up ahead of the front. And we saw a little cluster of showers and storms develop there. So that's certainly something I'll be keeping a close eye on. But if we look at the day three outlook, you could see the risk down to the south looks a little more pronounced and then up to the north. What will be interesting to see as we get closer is if these connect up and we see these kind of this medium risk get shifted uh, just, just east of I-77. So overall, the risk is relatively low. Uh, the primary threat would be damaging winds. But again, we're in the spring season, so I always tell you, stay weather aware. This is not a huge risk day. Um, again, even compared to last week's low and medium risk on our 1 to 4 scale, we're in the 1. We're not in, even in 1 to 2 like we were last week. And we're certainly nowhere near that 3, 4 range um, that we have down to the southwest where we've got some strong storms possible tomorrow. Of course, I'll have updates over the next couple of days. Just something to keep in mind as we look ahead to your Thursday forecast.